Hello Year 6, this is Mrs Collins here. I hope you're all well and that you're keeping safe and that your families are safe. Okay, so I'm here to tell you about learning for this week. We are continuing with the topic of Hola Mexico and I'll talk to you about that in a little while. But before I begin all about Hola Mexico, I'd like to tell you about today. Today's a special day. It is World Ocean Day. So we have selected for you, um, for you a non-fiction reading comprehension, all about oceans of the world. So have a go at completing that today, if you can. As well as this week, we're asking you to continue reading. It's really important that you read for at least 20 minutes every day. And continue to complete Read Theory. It will help you with your transition as you go into secondary school. Okay, English this week. All about Mexico. Now this is all about an, an ancient Maya game that was played in Mexico um, called Poc to Poc. And what we're asking you to do this week is read all about the game and then we'd like you to write a set of instructions for how to play it. We'd like you to include lots of imperative verbs when writing your instructions. This is linked to your spag for this week, which is all about imperative verbs and commands. And your spellings are the F-E-R spellings. Now there is some guidance on the website for somebody to test your knowledge at the end of the week. Okay, so we're moving now on to maths. So for maths this week, it's all about missing angles and missing lengths. So throughout the week, we're asking you to find the missing angles of various different shapes. As well as this, complete some of the activities using the links provided. There's lots of fun activities and games for you to explore. You may also want to look around the environment and find lots of different angles when you're going out on your daily walk and have a look at the array of lengths of objects that can be found in your home. Moving on now to geography. Now geography this week it's all about biomes and world climate. Now a biome is an ecosystem covering a large area of a continent. There's a PowerPoint for you to look at and then we'd like you to test your knowledge after reading all of that information. Okay so let's now move on to art. I know you all like your art and design now art and design this week is all about a really famous Mexican artist called Frida Kahlo. Frida had a very tragic life, but it didn't deter her from following her passion of painting. Now she specialised in portraits and self-portraits. Now what made Frida different to many other artists was that she used to consider not only the exterior when creating portraits and, and drawing her own self-portraits but she also considered her inner self and the personality that was within her. So what we're asking you to do this week is draw your very own self-portrait but really consider any hobbies you may have or things that you really, you particularly enjoy doing. So for example, I'm a keen cyclist, so that may be included in the outcome of my self-portrait. Okay, we're moving now on to science. Now science this week is all about the human circulatory system. You have been asked this week to research the, the human circulatory system and explain the functions of the heart, the blood vessels 
and blood. There's lots of information for you to look at. We'd then like you to create a fact file or a quiz for somebody in your home to look at. We'd also love to see some of your work. So please feel free to email anything that you, you have completed to us. Or if you have any questions, we do try to check it every day. Um, and we love hearing from you. In addition to this, we'd like you to find something circular in your house. If you don't have a protractor, that's fine. So find something that's circular, like a dinner plate. Draw around it. And then we want you to calculate the percentage of the different blood components of our body. You will be surprised with the outcome. Okay, so PE this week. We, you're being asked to continue to do your Joe Wicks exercise. Can't express just how important it is to do your daily exercise by going out for that daily walk, go for that cycle, and completing Joe Wicks's exercise every day. It will prepare you for the day, both mentally and physically. So moving on now to PSHE. As you've seen over the last few weeks, we have attached lots of different resources to prepare you for your transition to secondary school. Again, there are some more resources this week. And I'm sure that you've got lots of questions that you would like answered. So please, anything, anything at all that you are concerned about, email us. As I say, we do check the emails every day. And if we don't have the answer, we'll try our very best to find it for you and then we'll get back to you. Okay, Year 6, that's all from me. Please continue to stay safe. Look after yourself and your families. I hope to see you all back at school at some stage to say goodbye, even if it's just to say goodbye. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves and your families. Bye.